Hey Pony Pals, it's Emma and Anna from yeah. Paint Pony Studios, and today we are going to play one of Anna's least favorite horse games, Equestria 2001. Now, this game, I, I think it actually came out later than 2001, so I'm not sure that's why, I'm not sure why it's called that, but it was a partner to the Let's Ride Riding Star game with Mary King. And so basically this game is, and there goes the demo, I'll let the demo go while we're talking about it. Uh, basically, it's a three-day eventing simulator, and it takes you through um, dressage, show jumping, and cross country um, with a horse. You can either make your own horse or you can use a famous horse, um, which we might actually uh, make our own horses in this video. Yeah. Yeah. So um, it's got a bunch of um, eventing, like three-day events from all over the world, uh, and we... I don't know what one we're going to do, but we get to choose from, like, uh, Kentucky, um... Switzerland. Well, I don't know if it's Switzerland. I think it's, like, badminton and, uh... They gave, and they Australia. Gave for some of them, yeah. Yeah. But let's go ahead and do... We're going to do multiplayer. We're going to do a three-day event. Two players. And we're going to do beginner! And because we're gonna I do, do not like this game. We're going to do beginner because Anna has a hard time. Um, and then we might actually have profiles already made. I think we do. Okay, so country. We ride for the United States. And I want... Ooh, okay, there's Anna. Except this is player one. So you want, do you want to be player one? That I means can. you go first. I can. Okay, so we're going to accept that for player one. And then... Um... Oh yeah, I made it. I made Prada like like one of our mascots that's coming. So I will use Prada. All right. So we have uh, Kentucky, Badminton, Sydney, and Burley. What one do you want? Oh, let's do Sydney. Do? Sydney. I just wanted to go to Australia. All right. So Anna's first. Oh, and of course it starts with dressage. Yep, and it starts with dressage. So, so that this means is a keyboard. Anna gets the keyboard, and you can hit Enter to continue. I am in control. And remember, you can change your view by hitting tab when you get in there. Um, space is salute. Okay, well, so it's going to stop you. And then you're going to have to salute, and you can change your view then. There we go. There. So then it says proceed and trot. And track left. Now the little stars are going to tell you what to do. I remember last time I did this, it had a trouble picking up what gate I was doing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, turning is very sensitive in this game. It really is. And I, there is no way to actually turn that off. Um, so we're just going to have to deal with it. Now, for this episode, we're just going to do one three-day event on beginner. Um, if you want to see more, uh, I'll try to teach Anna how to do the advanced stuff, and maybe we'll go through all the three-day events in beginner. Um, but for now, we're going to just test out this game with the... First three day event. Three day event. What is it? Wrong gate penalty. No, you had it. You just didn't do it on the marker. You're still doing the wrong gate. Well, there you go. You didn't pick up the dots. You gotta go back and get the dots. No! Where are you going? You said the dots! Are these yeah, not you're dots? You're going the you're going the wrong way. Anna. See, this is why I don't like this game. Anna. Anna. I am trying. Go back to the start of the circle and pick up the dots from there. Like you said, turning is There you go. Pain. There you ah. See? No. Oh. You gotta stay on the circle. I know. You would never last in the real dressage. Yeah, world. that's why I don't do dressage. Those who know me know that I don't <laughs> do dressage. I'd like to, but I do not. I do, but it's nothing like this. <laughs> Real dressage, um, you don't have to pick up a bunch of little Pac-Man dots on the ground. I would hope not. <laughs> Took you long enough. Laugh at my joke! <laughs> oh boy. Oh, so you got a six on that movement. Not, 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 not bad. I not mean, bad. a 60% would be passing. Right. So now... When you get around the corner, I think, oh, you got a nine on that one, dude. 
Way to go. So that was the next a nice try. Shot. Decanter. Yeah. Nice rhythm in the trot. You know, you got another canter circle. So make sure you stay on the circle. It helps if you just hit the arrow key a little bit at a time. I am, but it's, yeah. it's like, it tap is. it once and it's like we are going the full. Yeah, no, it, it almost turns you like a, like a 180. It's weird. And trot. And then I think it's going to have you, oh. Finger to walk. Yep. It's very we slow. We are going very slow. So, you know, this is more my horse right now. <laughs> this is the level that we would be going. <laughs> my horse enjoys going very slow. Excellent control at the <laughs> Excellent walk. Excellent control at the walk. I don't know if you guys can hear it because we had to turn it down for the microphone. Um, but there's, like, commentators yeah. in the background going, Mmm, yes, she executed that very nicely. <laughs> uh, I think the best ones are on the actual cross country. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she did not do well today. <laughs> so actually, if you if you hit the space bar, you stop immediately, and then you hit the space bar again to salute, and then you can walk forward and finish your round. And then it'll be my turn, and we'll have to keep yeah. passing the keyboard back and forth. Whew, event complete. Hooray. Where where do you stand? I stand. Oh, one of the betters. Anna, you're in third. Woo! Anna, you did it. You're above Pippa Funnel. And right after Heath. And I I'm in first because I haven't gone yet, so therefore I have no score. We'll see how this goes. Alright, here I go. And we also hit um weather, like, randomized weather, so we lucked out at this being sunny because sometimes it's, like, it storms, and it's really, really hard to see anything. Alright, here we go. This is Emma in control. Track left. Proceed in trot. I've actually done a dressage test very similar to this before, like, on, on my real horse. Um... Funny story, when I, I had this game before I joined Pony Club, um, and so when we were actually practicing for Quiz Rally and we needed to know stuff like um, what happens if, like, what what's the penalty if your horse steps out of the arena in dressage, like, because of this game. Oh, you were ahead I, I of the knew, game. Yeah, I knew those things, and oh. I was, like, seven. So this is how I learned a lot of that. I don't know, there are some really impressive seven-year-old riders out there. There are. This is how that move should have looked when I was doing it. <laughs> yeah, you have to really, really you have to lightly, lightly tap. tap it. Oh, I got an eight. I got an eight on my circle. Not bad. <laughs> my dressage scores... Um, with my pony, have been really good. Like, I remember we almost got, like, a perfect score in our dressage test, and then when we were in, in our final salute, he took one step forward Aww. and ruined it, and it was like, Alex, please. <laughs> like, he knew what he was doing, too, but he took one little step Coming forward. Mm -hmm. And then Jenna, I don't really care what I get with Jenna anymore, because she's so... Um, finicky. Yeah. I'll, I'll Headstrong. Have <laughs> I'll have to do some videos where we go out to the barn and you guys can actually see, uh, how Jenna looks when I ride her because she, she's giraffe-like in everything she does. She just doesn't like her head being touched. Yeah, we'll have to do a meet the horses. Oh, definitely. We'll have to do a meet copper too and we can go out and meet Anna's horse. Oh, it's so slow. <laughs> <laughs> da, 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 da. Am I gonna get copyright strikes for that? Mm, Probably not. Too is late. It? I already did it. Oh no. I say if it's me singing it, I don't think so. <laughs> if it's out of key, <laughs> yeah. If it's out of key, who's gonna notice? Look at me go. What's done is done. Right. 
Uh, sorry for picking up any background noise, too. It's not like we have any, uh, we're borrowing Anna's brother's microphone. Yep. Shout out to Joey, even though he will never watch this video. Probably not. He'll probably never watch this. Um, but yeah, so we're, bor we're borrowing his microphone, and we're using my drawing computer, and we're uh, recording games in my house, and everybody's home right now. <laughs> and we're in an open room. Yeah, There's... we're in an open room with no door. No so, door. So, oh, okay. No, no noise can <laughs> canceling uh, equipment or anything. No, so you're going to have to bear with us. Oh, wow, okay. Yay! Top three. I'm not giving you a high five. Oh! Not until, okay. not until I'm first. Oh, oh. This is cutthroat. Well, alright, Anna. It's cross country. No, oh. this is Anna's this favorite part this. of the game. This round's gonna be perfect, I tell myself every time. Yep. But ah, I, did, I did play this yay. course before, so I have the benefit of... Right, she knows what's coming. And also... Because I wanted to make this easier on both of us, um, I, oh, I didn't. Oh, I didn't this time. Um, so my, my computer records a little bit finicky. Uh, so when I initially opened the game, I may have put in the cheat code to give us unlimited stamina. Um, and then I not. had to, and then I had to restart the game a couple times. So... We don't have that luxury. No, we don't. So we are going to actually have to watch Stamina like not cheaters. <laughs> oh, you have to... <laughs> this is the one that Anna had the most problems with. Yep, the, and there it is. Was the pimple. Um, so I have to get all the way off the pimple. Yes. In order And then you have to get back on. Yep, so... Yes, I am know. going the wrong way. So, because it's beginner mode, we we have, if you see down in the bottom left corner, we have four falls and ten refusals. Um, so I have a refusal. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, you have one refusal out of ten. Um, but we also have only twelve jumps to do, so it really shouldn't be that bad. Um, I think we're going to be fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's manageable. Now, I'd really like to go see this course for real. I really want to go to Australia Australia sometime. But the uh, the Kentucky uh, course that's on here for the Kentucky three-day event is actually the, the course from the horse park. So if you guys have ever been to Briarfest or if you've been to the horse park, the, the cross-country course that's in this game is... Um, I mean, it's outdated now, but a lot of the jumps are still there. But it is that same course from the horse park, which I think is really cool. Because then when I got to go walk the cross-country course, we went to festival a couple of years ago with the horses for Pony Club. I got to go walk that course, and I thought it was really, really freaking sweet, because I got to see all these jumps that I had seen digitally. And I'm making up the conversations right now, because Anna's concentrating really I hard. <laughs> we got four more jumps to go. Again, this is something I've actually never done with a real horse, but I'd really like to. We're gonna get there. <laughs> We're gonna do it. We had we had a lovely day. I I probably won't have posted any videos of it yet, simply because we were just practicing the other day, but we have some things in store. Yeah, we have some things in store. We we've been practicing um some uh mounted nerf battles. Uh, first with the Nerf Rebel, which was really interesting, and... Shout out to Nerf for making that, actually. They don't sponsor us, but I mean, if they really wanted to. Yeah, I know it's a small scale, but... I'd love to be sponsored by Nerf. But we, we went on and used the Nerf Rebel on horseback, and that was really, really fun. And it has some kick. It does have some kick. It goes about 20 to 25 feet. Mm -hmm. I think that's how far the dart goes. Now, we didn't get a chance to actually, like, aim it at things because we didn't have targets and it was very windy that day, but, uh, hopefully in the future we'll have some videos up where we'll actually be doing some target practice on horseback with the Nerf Rebel. <laughs> oh, second, you're, you're in second place! Nice! Making my way! Beating Lucinda Green as well. Alright, my turn. 
Oh, come on. I love the green. It really complements your horse. Yeah. <laughs> now, we Anna's, do. Anna's probably going to have to do most yeah, of the coffee. Yeah, we do have a stack of games that we're looking at playing, and I, I think we should do Disney Princess. Yeah, we should do the Disney Princess It's one. very outdated, and it's... You're going to have to bear with us with some yeah. of these games, simply because um, they are all older PC games. And PC games are really fading out, and we are both college students, so... Right. Um, I guess the thing is that a lot of the uh, animation and such in these games is really janky. Um, so, like, this one is going to be on a smaller uh, screen, and we're going to have to have, like, a background behind it when I edit this in post. But that's because I don't want to make it, you know, full screen and have it be blurry for you guys. I'd rather have it, you know, just a little bit smaller so that it actually doesn't look as bad as it, as it could, yeah. potentially. But my reason to bring it up to Disney Prince is because you get to customize everything in that game. You yes. get to customize your horse's tack, which is actually really cute. Yeah, we could go through a whole episode just decorating horses, mm -hmm. like... Oh, come, come, oh! come on! Come on. Second place ain't looking so bad. <laughs> Come on. But yeah, the, the, the Disney Princess one, the actual uh, eventing part of it is something you're going uh, yeah, to have to really, bear with us. really bear with us on it. It's, uh, it's a very point of view type I'll, I'll show system. them. I'll show them what it looks like in this game. So, like, I can rotate views in this game. It looks like this. Yeah. Except it's, oh god, it's better done than that. Um, but it's very, it, it's very early 2000s PC game-esque. <laughs> so we can't complain. Right. Here you go. Yep. You gotta slow down in the water. Yep. The nice thing about using the keyboard for this is you don't have to worry about our frantic clicking mouse in the clicking, as um, in with uh, Spirit, Spirit Forever Free. That was... And actually, we, not to give away our secrets, but we, um, we just finished playing that, um, actually. So, like, the same recording session that we did Spirit in, we're also doing Equestriated. We're going to go through probably a bunch of games today just for the sake of getting enough content for you guys, because we're going to be busy in the upcoming weeks with, like, um, well, Spirit Day is, for us, it's June 6th, so we're getting all of our spirit stuff in really soon and everything like that. First and second! Woo! And we have events to go to and whatnot, so me and Anna are recording a bunch of stuff right now so that we can get stuff out to you guys without, you know, a whole lot of delay. Because I'm, we're still trying to keep up this upload schedule for YouTube of every Monday and Wednesday. Um, and for right now, it's working out really well, actually. And we might be able to do... Um, you know, we don't want to do gaming videos all the time. Um, but in between the Briar stuff, we definitely want to have some gaming yeah, videos. Yeah, these are essentially just filler. Filler, yeah. But to, to keep you guys engaged, because... Our whole point of this YouTube channel is we want to figure out what you guys want to actually see from us because I, you know, I'm totally game for just about anything. Whether you want to see us do challenge videos with the real horses or uh, more gaming videos, more briar challenges, um, it's totally up to you guys. Like, we will do whatever you want to see us do. But in order to figure out what you guys want to see, we kind of have to experiment. Oh no! I was going too fast. Refusal! One refusal. I don't know, compared to the other times I play this game, if I get out with one refusal, I'm No, I know. I'll be happier. Sometimes when Anna plays this game, she gets really, really uh, fired up. I'm, I'm. And it's funny to watch. I'm competitive, I love it. <laughs> 
But I also, I also feel bad for her because I never used to tell her how to actually work the game, and it was kind of like... No, I was on my own entirely. Yeah. It was kind of like, have fun. Oh, Anna, you got a new high score. <gasps> really? Yeah. <laughs> what does new high score mean? I don't know. <laughs> All right, my turn. I'm going to have to go get water or something after this. Yeah. We'll, this we'll is... take a break between, between this and the next one that we're going to do. Which, we're not quite sure yet what the next one is that we're going to do. I, I vote for Disney Princess. You vote for Disney Princess? We're gonna have to- we're gonna have to start a new game. It would be good to have a balance, because we just played Spirit, as we mentioned, so... We're going yeah. between a realistic game... <laughs> and one that's definitely not, not realistic. realistic. Um, but also, you gotta keep in mind, both of us are 18, so if- we're going around playing these games that I played in my childhood, and, uh, <laughs> that was almost a disaster. <laughs> um, I wished bad luck upon you. I was I sitting know. here and I was like, oh. Oh. But we're going around and playing these games that basically I kind of dug out of my cabinet that I never got rid of when I was a kid, that I was like, oh, these would be really fun. And some other games we've got for you guys are like, um, the Starshine games. So for those of you who know Star Sable, those are, the Starshine games are the prequels to Star Stable, which Anna's never played before. No. I have. So. When I was I'm a kid, I, I played a lot of the, like, Pajama Sam games. Yeah. The ones that were meant to be educational, yeah. but. Ooh, second place. Ooh. Oh, and then I won. Emma wins. <laughs> this is technically PPS Gaming versus Because we're playing multiplayer. Look at my... Some, <laughs> oh. oh. And then it's just gonna take us right back to the main menu. So I think we're done with Equestrian for, for a little while. Unless you guys wanna see more of it. I mean, like I said, if you actually look at. If I. Let me go into single player. And you guys can see. Um, there's a bunch of different settings. But, like, these are all we have to choose from as far as, uh, like, events. And we already did Sydney. So, essentially, there could be three more episodes. Right, three more episodes. And some difficulty challenges. Yeah, and some difficulty challenge. And then if you really want to see it, I have a whole list of cheat codes that are very um, strange. Uh, doing that, that you can uh, make yourself ride a Shetland pony and go over jumps, which is really disorienting. Or you can give your character a really big head and then try to go over jumps. So... We'll definitely play around with it and see where we get. But for now, that's all we have for you guys. So see you in the next video, Pony Pals. Bye! Bye.